Welcome back to Sports Showtime, everybody. Well, fans have been wondering the past few months just when the baseball team will move into Alec Box Stadium. Sports Showtime's Marcus Brown has more on if the stadium will be completed on time and when the team will be able to start practicing inside the new facility. As the LSU men's baseball season quickly approaches, many students and fans are concerned that the new Alex Box Stadium will not be ready for the season opening in three weeks. But Senior Associate Director of Athletics, Eddie Nunez, says that things are still on schedule and will be ready to go for the Tigers' upcoming season. At Alex Box Stadium currently right now, we have a um, considerable amount of pro uh, progress uh, in, in most of the areas. We have the team facility uh, is about 99% complete. That is all the locker rooms, the team area, the training room. The furniture is going in as we speak. With construction currently going on schedule, the baseball team hopes to move out of the old Alex Box Stadium February 1st and into the new one February 2nd in preparations for its February 20th season opener. There's a lot of those little nuances that, that are going to take some getting used to, uh, but I think if we can get on the field for two and a half weeks, I wish it could have been two and a half months, but we, are, we have what we have and we'll deal with it and get, get used to it. With just two weeks to get adjusted to the new field, Maneri wishes his team had more time but assures that his Tigers will be ready come February 20th. For Sports Showtime, I'm Marcus Brown. The home opener for the baseball team takes place on Friday, February 20th at 7 o'clock against Villanova. Okay, everybody, well, now it's time for your weekend preview. Well, the LSU swimming and diving team will be hosting the LSU Invitational this weekend in the natatorium. The meet will start up on Friday afternoon at 4 and finish up on Saturday. Sports Showtime reporter Frank Barnett caught up with Coach Adam Schmidt to get his take on the weekend and the season so far. With LSU hosting the universities of Houston, Rice, and New Orleans at home this weekend for the last regular season meet, Coach Schmidt shares his thoughts on the season and the upcoming SEC tournament. Well, I would say on the men's side, it's probably the best season we've had since I've been here. Uh, the men are 6-1 and one right now with the only loss to a uh, top five Florida team. And that was early in the season. And uh, we go into this meet kind of fine-tuning, sharpening ourselves to get ready for SEC. So it is our last home meet. It's great that it's home, that we have a chance to be in our own environment, our own pool, and to uh, just fine-tune some events and, and get ready for the championship meet. Um, well, you I mean, you look at SEC in anything. Um, you know, when I first got here, we are at the bottom of the SEC. And in, in shortly in five years, um, we're looking at, you know, the men, hopefully, and the women nipping right around in the middle, right around fourth or fifth, trying to get up there and get, get up there next to the big boys like the Auburns, Georgias, and Floridas. Um, if we're being mentioned in those, that group of names, I think we're, we're starting to do something, you know. So, uh, you know, you could be fifth at SECs and still be top ten at NCAAs. So it's, a, it's just one of those things to where you want to do real well ranking-wise at SECs, but really the big picture is when you get to NCAAs how high you rank in the nation. And that's, that's a big goal for us is to try to become a top 15 team in the nation. I am proud of this group. This group's a tough group. It's a great group of seniors, and I just look forward to us carrying that momentum into conference and into NCAAs. For Sports Showtime, I'm Frank Barnett. Now to Hobie Arteague for the rest of the week in preview. All right, thanks, Frank. Well, the women's basketball team will be taking on South Carolina tonight and the Lady Tigers of Auburn on Sunday night. Auburn is currently 20-0 and, and one of two teams left in the NCAA that has gone undefeated so far this season. We now kick it over to our own Mark Talley for his basketball expert and give us his analysis of the game. Thanks a lot, Hobie. Tonight in Columbia, the Lady Tigers need to do one thing to ensure victory. Show up. South Carolina is in the lower half of the conference in every statistical category. At 9-10 and 10 overall, they have the worst record in the conference. And at 1-5, and 5, sit above 0-6 Alabama in league standings. The only interesting note for the Lady Tigers tonight is the emergence of Andrea Kelly at the point guard position. The newcomer drained five threes in her first career start at the point earlier in the week, and her often, additional offensive output will be a quenching relief for the off parts LSU scoring. Looking ahead with a win tonight, LSU will set up a huge matchup this Sunday in the PMAC against undefeated and fourth-ranked Auburn. Auburn is impressive, 20-0, and the only other undefeated team in women's basketball is UConn. Back to you, Hobie. 
All right, thanks, Mark. After beating Tennessee on the road last night, the men's basketball team will be celebrating their 100th anniversary on Saturday night with a game against SEC West rival Arkansas. The game will be in the PMAC and start up at 4 o'clock. Heavy crowds are expected to be at the game, so get there early if you want to be a part of the action. Well, the men's and women's tennis teams will both be serving up some action this weekend. The men's team will be taking on Texas, a Texas Tech at 9 a.m. on Saturday in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And the women will be taking on DePaul at 11 a.m. when they travel to Los Angeles, California. Both teams will also be competing on Sunday, but their opponents are to be determined. And finally, the gymnastics team will be taking on sixth-ranked Auburn in Auburn, Alabama on Friday. The team moved into the top ten earlier this week at the ten spot. Also, we got word that Sabrina Francis Shelley is questionable for the meet and will be a game-time decision. The ladies are set to hit the mats at 7 p.m. on Friday. Well, that does it for your weekend preview, but when we come back, Brian will sit down in the forum with two guests as they give some pick for the Super Bowl this weekend. All that and more is coming up next. You're watching LSU Sports Showtime.